What's going on guys, I'm the Pop Chaser and today we're going to do a Funko Pop Challenge. Let's go. Now guys, before we get into it, if you are new to my channel and you like my content, obviously, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you do like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Now this Funko Pop Challenge comes from JT's Funko Finds which I believe came from Pop to Heat, and I don't really know where it, where it originated, but it is the Funko Name Game. So I think it's called the Funko Name Game, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so you have to choose Funko Pops in your collection that go with your YouTube name, so Pop Chaser. So in this video, there are going to be a couple of pops that I wouldn't really show on the channel, but you've got to show new content, and. Not everyone's going to see every pop you have in your channel unless you do a Funko collection video, which I have once. If you want to check it out, I can put it up here. Um, so yeah, so this video is going to contain some pops that I wouldn't really show on the channel, but you know, you're going to put a variety of pops in your channel. How many times can you say channel in one sentence? Anyway, so we'll start with P. Now, this one comes from obviously the Pokemon line and you just gave it away, so it's Pikachu. Now, the reason I chose this one is because when I was collecting the Pokemon cards, I originally started collecting them so I could get uh, the Pokemon that I have pops of. So you can put it in the case with the card like this. Um, so yeah, so I'll pretty, this is a pretty cool concept into pretty much customizing a pop but not actually touching the pop. Um, so yeah, so the first one is Pikachu from Pokemon. Now the next one comes from My Hero Academia. It is a pretty new pop to my collection. I have done a video on it once, and that is the 2020 Funimation Ochako exclusive. Now, I am still on the hunt for the chase of this pop, even though I do, and I have said before, I do believe that this should be the chase, and the one with her, the one with her, without her mask, should be the common. But anyway, so the letter O goes to Ochako from Funimation 2020. All right, the next one is the letter P again. Now this one comes from the Marvel line and it is the Punisher War Machine. Now I have done a pop review on this pop, so I'll chuck that link up there if you guys wanna check this out. Uh, this is probably one of the best detail pops that I have in my collection. Um, going that they have done the Punisher sign and his armor pretty well and they've even put battle damage on the pop as well so I think that's a good touch to the pop all right so the next one is C start chaser and that is the black light carnage now I will put a photo of the carnage under the black light so you can guys have a quick look it looks absolutely beautiful um, but yeah, I wish that this did come with the Funko sticker. Um, I have seen this pop come with the Funko sticker behind the pop culture sticker. Unfortunately, I'm not that lucky. Um, even if it did, I probably still wouldn't try and pull off the sticker to, re to reveal the uh, Funko Shop sticker. But yeah, anyway, so let us see is Carnage Blacklight. All right, so we're off to the letter H, I believe. I got a H? Yeah, H. So this one comes from My Hero Academia as well, and that is the Hero Killer Stain. Now, when I first saw this guy come into the My Hero Academia anime, I thought he was gonna be an absolute legend of a villain. And if you haven't seen My Hero Academia, I'm gonna spoil it, but he dies. So, obviously villains do have to die, but he only probably lasted, I think it was two or three episodes. But yeah, he's still a pretty sweet pop. I'm not gonna pull him out of the box. It just take too long. This video would take way too long. But yeah, so the letter H was my hero. <sighs> Start that again. My hero killer stain. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so letter H. Now get letter A. Can I spell? Yeah, letter A. Uh, this one comes from the Marvel line again, and it is the Glow in the Dark Anti Venom. Now, I'm not going to put this under the black light because everyone's seen this guy, Glow in the Dark. Um, probably one of my favorite Glow in the Darks that I have in my collection. 
probably because not the whole pop glows in the dark, it's just the white bits of him that glow in the dark. Pretty sure his eyes glow in the dark too, I'm not too sure. But anyway, so yeah, so the letter A is anti-venom glow in the dark. Now, the letter S. The letter S uh, comes from the Big Bang Theory and it is Sheldon Cooper as The Flash. Now, I don't think I've actually showcased this pop on my uh, channel yet. I do actually have the whole superhero line of The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I do, yeah. I'll try to find Penny then, she's right there. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a pretty sweet pop and I'm glad they actually made the superhero line of The Big Bang Theory. It's a really good touch and yeah. There you go, letter S is Sheldon Cooper as The Flash. Now we're up to the last two. So the letter E comes from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm pretty sure there's only one pop of the letter E from Yu-Gi-Oh! What's this? What is that? Yeah, there is. And that is Exodia, the Forbidden One. I've also done a review on this pop as well on my channel. Um, I'll put the link up there if you want to check it out. But yeah, I think this is probably one of the best gods in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a controversial subject, it really is. Um, I cannot believe they haven't brought out the Winged Dragon of Ra yet. Um, when that does come out, I'll definitely be picking that up. I just, I thought they would probably bring it out in the convention that was closest to releasing this line, but they didn't. Um, I don't know why, they probably should. It'd be a great idea. Anyway, we'll leave that there. So yeah, the letter E is Exodia, the Forbidden One. Now the letter R, I have not shown this guy on my uh, video channel, YouTube channel yet. Wow, my English is absolutely amazing today, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so the letter R comes from the anime Death Note. And I'm pretty sure I know how to pronounce his name right, and that is Ryuk. The, uh, what's he to light? I forgot what he is. Light's a little monster. Let's call that a Death Note monster. But yeah, so this guy is absolutely amazing. I do have the complete line of Death Note with light um, L and L with cake. Pretty sure the most expensive one in that line is light. Light yummy, yummy. Something, light someone. I forgot his last name. Brain dead, I'm brain dead today. I really am. <laughs> but yeah, so the letter R is from the anime Death Note and that is Ryuk. Now I'm pretty sure you have to nominate three people to continue this little challenge. So I'm going to nominate Collector Lampsy. He's absolutely gonna hate me because he has a massive name. He has a lot of pops, so he shouldn't have a problem. So Collector Lampsy, and then we're gonna go, let's go 95 pop snaps. I don't know how she's gonna do the nine five, but I'm pretty sure she's pretty creative. So she'll figure something out. I know you will, Brooke. And let's go big. Let's go someone that I wouldn't really tag. Uh, let's go Pop Savage. Now, if he does it, I'll be really thrilled to do it, uh, to look and watch it and watch it. Wowzers. <laughs> this is terrible. But yeah, so we're gonna go collect the Lampsy, 95 Pop Snaps and the Pop Savage. Um, so yeah, guys, that was the Funko name game. Thank you, JT Funko Finds for nominating me for this. It was pretty fun. And apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next video.